Welcome to the art project. We are going to make a selfie collage. It's basically just a collage of all the things that kind of represent us to go on the cover of our sketchbook. So here's a sketchbook I did. It's got my name on the front of it. It's got uh, some symbols and uh, objects that represent me. Here's one that a student did. Uh, he kind of did it backwards. Uh, and you can see he did some drawing in it and uh, that's his. So here's another one from another student and again it has images that represent him on it. It has his name on the front. It's got a picture of himself and we're gonna do all of this stuff and put it together. Um, the video is going to be really fast and just suffice it to say that everything you see me making here is just my way of making like little stickers to put on the front of my book. I wanted to do my name. I, I do, did several um, sketches of my name, several thumbnail sketches, and I finally decided to go with this one. Um, but I also wanted this one to have um, something behind it. So in just a moment, you're going to see me making clouds. Basically, I'm making everything separate, and then I'm going to cut everything out, and I'm going to glue it to my sketchbook. So cut this out. I decided after cutting this out that I really wanted it to have silver lettering. So I happen to have a silver paint pen. And I'll uh, paint it in silver. A lot of different things going on in this video and it's kind of hard to keep up. I wanted to make it all uh, I want to make the video short so that you could see the, basically the general process, but and just some different ideas. I decided to put a cloud behind my name, so I'm doing that on a completely separate sheet of paper. And I tweak the cloud to get it the way I want it to be and so on. After I do that, I use some watercolor markers to go around the edge and then some water to just kind of melt that watercolor marker, give it kind of a airy look. I don't know. We also had to put some quotes on our sketchbook. My first quote was, Creativity Takes Courage by Henry Matisse. And that's going to go on my cover as well. Again, I'm doing everything on little pieces of scrap drawing paper. One of the things that represents me is that I'm an artist. And so I did a cup of markers and pencils and paintbrushes. Uh, all on this colorful paper. I made this colorful paper at the beginning of the video. You probably saw me do that. That is not 100% necessary. You can do it in watercolor. You can do it on plain paper and color it in by hand. It really does not matter. Um, basically, the steps to this uh, selfie collage is make a bunch of stickers of things that represent you and glue them to your cover. Uh, another thing that I did was cover a piece of drawing paper, which is going to be the cover of the sketchbook, I covered it with a bunch of uh, torn out pieces of a book, just to kind of give it a background. You could do a design in the background, you could do some watercolor in the background, you could do some colored pencil in the background, it really doesn't matter. And then I cut out all of my quotes, uh, cut out all of my little so-called stickers. I call them stickers, but I'm making these things, you know, like I'm I made these little pieces and then I'm going to put glue on the back of them and glue them down. The great thing about doing it this way is you can rearrange all the little pieces and put them wherever you want to. As far as the selfie part of it goes, you can take a photograph of yourself. You saw that on Ant's sketchbook at the beginning. Please rewind if you don't remember. And then there was another one, Keanu's sketchbook, where he drew a picture of himself. And then the sketchbook that I originally did, the first one that I did, I did a photograph of myself. This time I decided to do a little cartoon picture of myself and put it on there. Don't agonize about it too much. One of the things that I'm doing in this video is I'm doing everything really fast to try and get it um, done. And I mean, I want you to do a good job, but also don't sit there and look at your work and go, oh, this is just not good enough. Just do it, all right? Don't sweat it. Just cut it out. I also got some um, this picture from a magazine. You can incorporate more of those. I decided I wanted a marker to look like it was drawing the cup. That's one of the requirements for this is that the um, one of the images be interacting with another image, and I'm not sure that I did that very well here. 
Um, I then laminated the whole thing with packing tape, clear packing tape, cut the clear packing tape off the edges, and then I counted out 20 sheets of copy paper. I eventually only used um, 16 sheets, I think, or 15 sheets. So um, I folded them all in half, put them all inside one another, and then after folding the book, put those inside the book and used a long throat stapler to uh, join them together in the middle, putting the smooth side of the staple on the outside and the teeth on the inside. And that, my friends, is the sketchbook. Here you can see me trimming the edges uh, using a good ruler and an X-Acto knife. And that way all the pages are straight, which makes my book a little bit smaller than 8.5 by 11. Uh, but that's the way it is. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And you can find the lesson plan for this on my Teachers Pay Teachers uh, website, which is The Art Project. Teacher Pay Teachers, The Art Project. Thanks for watching.